okay so welcome back guys this is olfa studios and it's tutorial time so as i promised to you guys in the last devlog that i will be making a tutorial on udim workflow so here i am and as you can see this is a blender i'm using 3.2.2 so let's just quickly have a you know brief conversation on what we are actually going to do so i'm going to create a simple model in blender a very simple one okay and i'll try to include all of the texture channels in it later on but i'll make a very simple model and then i will export it to substance painter as an fbx okay and after that i will texture it in whatever way possible in the most simplest way for the sake of this tutorial and then i'll send that to unreal engine okay so now let's just quickly uh, model something here uh, And now let's just add another cube here and maybe like make it up like this or something. I don't know. So that it looks part of this. And what I can do is like maybe draw something here that is, yeah, this much so that it looks like something. Okay and as you can see these are some different parts okay so we have a cube now with a lot of booleans if i'm not wrong where is this one it's the another cube as you can see okay so what i'm thinking is uh i'll give it a dip i give this cube a different texture okay and let's also add another cube for the sake of maybe uh msf channel yeah i can like this okay so as you can see i'm putting it here okay it is placed in this way so i will give this cube a different texture this one a different texture and this one a different texture okay as you can see we have three cubes okay so this is the workflow that i use uh, this will be the workflow that i am actually using and it's a tutorial for this so now let's just apply these modifiers rotation and scale rotation and scale rotation and scale okay and then what i do is i create a vertex group i'll call it uh msf okay and i'll call this second okay and i'll call this uh main okay and i'll add these so you can just verify by selecting and yeah, it works. Same is with this. I can just assign these and it works. Same is with this. You can just assign these, deselect and select. So yeah, it works. So you have now uh, three different objects as you can see. Now, what I'll do is I'll just merge them. Okay, control J as simple as that and it is not looking good well it is because of boolean so i'll just quickly sharpen it yeah done so now it is a single object i'll name it demo as the material and same as the cube demo okay uh, i'm not going to save this project because i really don't have to now let's just quickly texture it right um for texturing uh, not exactly the texturing sorry let's just prepare it first of all I'll just use the vertex group data. Okay. So as you can see, second, if I select it, I get this cube. If I select the main one, I get this one. And if I select the MSF one, I get this one. So all you have to do is just select the part here. Okay. And from this, pay, uh, this may, uh, selection menu, I'm sorry, the mode selection menu, you can go to vertex paint. I'll select this uh, mask section here. So as you can see, the vertices that were selected are now dark and are highlighted with a dark gradient and the other stuff is white. So I can just give whatever color I want. Um, I'm going to give it, uh, let's say red color because why not? Okay, now you can just again, go back to edit mode, select the uh, other object. Okay, same, just go back to vertex paint. As you can see now, this one is highlighted and that one is having a red color. Now give it a different color, let's say green. Give it, okay, cool. And now let's just go back to edit mode select the main cube here and again go back to vertex mode and give it a blue color 
tool. So now, as you can see, uh, this is ready. All I have to do is just UV unwrap them and we are good to go. Now, let's just discuss the concept of UDIM. Uh, UDIM is multiple tiles, if you know. So to create UDIMs, all you have to do is just uh, go here, okay, in this UV editing panel, create a new texture. I'll name it UDIM. Uh, I will recommend naming it specifically. Like if you are having multiple objects in your one single Blender uh, project, like I do, so just make them, you know, unique. All of those UDM channels unique. Uh, let's just put it to 4K because why not? Okay, give it a color so that everything is visible. I like to give it a cyan color, a bit of a cyan thing. And then give it tiled, okay. So here we are with a UDM tile. This is a single tile, okay. So what I'm going to do is, since I want this stuff to be uh, highly detailed, I'm going to put all of these three objects in three tiles, okay. Since I already have one tile, I'll just go to the end panel, as you can see here, in the UDIM tile section under image, I'll just add two because I need two more, okay, and then give them, you can give a different color. Uh, let's just give them like green or yeah, red maybe, and then select. So as you can see, we have two different colors in and three tiles in total, okay. This 101, 102 and 103 is like, you know, the array UDIM counting. So you have to keep this in mind. This is the key factor that will be relevant later on. Okay. So let's just first of all take the main part. And for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just quickly smart UV projecting it. Right. So this is done as you can see. This part, this part, this part. Okay. Yeah. It's fairly uh, spread out evenly. No issues. Now let's just quickly deselect everything. Go to the second part. Sorry. I forgot to turn on sync selection. Yeah, let's just go back to the second part and hit UV smart project. It is unwrapped. Now you can just move it by pressing G, X and one for just moving the UVs to one tile done. And now let's just do the same with this third one. U unwrap and then G, X two moving it to the second tile. Basically this tile is zero. This is one and this is two just like arrays. Okay. So now we have all of our UDIMs selected. Cool, no issues. So this is done. We have assigned the material, but we also have assigned the UVs. Now all we have to do is just export the FBX. Okay. You can just export it here. I would like to export it to the desktop and name it demo underscore FBX just the mesh selected objects and I don't want to make animations and face smoothing. Yeah. Before that, let's just make sure that all of our normals are perfect. Where is it? Yeah. Sorry. As you can see, normals are perfect. So no issues. I can just hit export and it is done. Okay. Okay. So here we are in substance painter 8.1.3. And all you have to do is just file new, uh, select your file, uh, demo FPX. Yeah. Now you don't have to select the template, just select the document resolution. I'm using 4k and I'm using direct text as the normal map. Just select this. Okay. This will be grayed out. Just select this UV tile workflow and then preserve the layout per material and enabling across tiles <clears throat> and just hit. Okay. It will load. And here we are now. Yeah, as you can see, it has uh, loaded perfectly the way it should have. And we have single material. The name of the material was demo, but we have three tiles. Okay. If you press F3, you can see all of the UDM tiles here and they are placed perfectly. So that means all of these parts of our model, even the smaller ones, these ones will get a good amount of textures. Okay. So now let's uh, add some random textures here. Okay. I'm thinking of adding some industrial machinery here, but no, wait, before that, we need to bake the texture maps. So you can just go to the texture set settings, bake your mesh maps, select 512, sorry, <laughs> 4096. Of course, you want to bake the normal map. I don't bake the world space normal because I don't need it. I bake the ambient occlusion with more rays. 
I usually don't use curvature, position, or thickness. But if your model has something like that, especially curvature, I will recommend <clears throat> uh, doing these maps as well. So now let's just go to ID color. As you can see, ID, ID map. And you can use vertex color here. Please select vertex color. Yeah. So basically, our ID was by vertex color. If you guys remember, we were vertex painting. We were not, uh, you know, material painting or ID painting. We were just using vertex color. So we have three maps and we can just, as you can see, it says already says nine textures because we have three UVs, as you can see. So three times three, nine, and yeah, we're good to go. So it's done. So now everything has been baked. Now all we have to do is just pick up the assets. I'll use this steel rust. There we go. Much better. I'll decrease the roughness. I'll increase the surface imperfections. I'll increase the rust. As you can see, a good amount of detail is here, right? But you might ask, okay, this doesn't solve the purpose of texturing every other object separately. Remember guys, these two objects, this one and this one were two separate objects. So don't worry, I have a solution for you. Just give it a folder, okay? Put it in your folder. I'll call it main because I want this part to be the main one. Give it a mask with color selection here. Pick a color and you want whichever object you want to have this texture. You just pick that color. I'll pick the blue one. And as you can see, the blue one is masked and both of these other objects are white. And the blue one is using the metallic texture. Simple as that. Now we can do the same thing with the other ones. And again, I'll put it in a folder. I mean, putting it in your, in a folder is the best bet. Okay. Like these are very simple textures, but what if you want to have dirt or maybe rust, you know, like a separate layer. So using a folder is the best option you have. Just mask it with a color selection. Let's use this layer and maybe make it metallic. Yeah, it is highly metallic now. Let's just give it a color. I'm going to give it bit of a red color yeah so it's a very reflective box and that's all as you can see maximum metallic almost and that's all yeah you if you want you can give it a dirt or something but i'm not doing that so now our textures are done as you can see complete we have a metal black box in our hand all we have to do is just export textures and then let's just export them wherever we want blur this section I'll make it a folder. I'll name them demo textures. I'll just place them here. Uh, select your output template. Okay. Uh, I'm going to use Unreal Engine 4 for this tutorial. Uh, specifically, if you have Unity, you can use the Unity pipeline. There are four of them, but I'm using Unreal Pact. And as you can see, these are the list of exports. I can just wait. Which one is this? I'm sorry. My bad. Yeah. You can rename them according to your need. I rename them because, you know, otherwise there's this extra name of the mesh going on. Now they'll just say demo underscore base color. Okay. Otherwise it would have been demo underscore demo. So, you know, I don't want that repeat. So let's just export them simple. And as you can see, it is reading all of the arrays in the tiles, UE, UDEM tiles. I'm sorry. Yeah. And done. So now you can literally close it. No issues. All you have to do is just go to Blender and I'll be back in Unreal in just a second. Okay, so here we are in Unreal Engine, as you can see. Now I'm going to quickly send this cube to Unreal Engine and I'll try to link the video in the cards on top. Uh, if you guys don't know how to send the stuff from Blender to Unreal quickly, I'll recommend watching it. It's another small tutorial. It's a YouTube short. In, in short, basically, you can just uh, install the add-on, the uh, Blender to Unreal add-on, and you'll have this pipeline section here. So you just have to put your object or objects in mesh, this folder, and then just click on pipeline, export, send to Unreal, allow it access, because why not? And then just wait, and Unreal will give you this prompt. All you have to do is just find this folder by name, by the name of untitled category, 
go to the untitled asset and you will have your object here i am not deleting this uh, material right now but this is the object we have as you can see here it is here in perfectly and nanite is already built for it yeah so all you have to do is just basically set up this material now i am going to import the textures i'll just quickly go to desktop demo textures so for that for these textures to work properly you need one more thing okay what i'm going to do is first tell you how to import those textures and rather i should tell you the preliminary steps so all you have to do is just go to edit go to project settings okay go to rendering here and find out a virtual textures here just enable virtual texture support and leave everything on default restart your editor let it uh, rebuild all of the shaders and cache and everything after that try to import your udim textures here while importing udim textures just keep in mind it doesn't matter how many textures you have okay it really doesn't matter all you have to do is just pick the first one in my case it is 1001 in every case it will be 1001 so i'm just picking this one the base color the normal and the occlusion all these three just the first one 1001 i'll open them and import them no issues i can just import them here done okay now make sure as you can see three tiles we have okay one two and three make sure the occlusion map is disabled of rgb because it is a virtual linear color so it cannot be rgb save it okay then just go to the material create your material in the way you will create any other material just use texture sample uh, to get a texture sample all you have to do is just press sorry hold t and click on it and you will get it so just select a texture sample here i'm going to search for demo base color the first one is base color as you can see here okay the second one is going to be normal and just duplicate this one and the third one is going to be occlusion roughness metallic so to use the normal just use the value in normal and to use the occlusion one just remember it stands for rgb occlusion roughness and metallic so r goes to occlusion g goes to roughness and b goes to metallic simple as that just save the texture as you can see it is already looking so good and just let it compile let it compile it has compiled now if i'll open the box here we have a red reflective panel here and look at these textures okay like when you get so close only then they look so bad otherwise like from a distance they look so good so you can just place this object here no issues you can just explore the object if you want and rotate it as you can see the dirt and rust is clearly visible the imperfections in the surface and yeah that's that's pretty much it guys that's it for the tutorial okay i hope it was simple enough for you to understand it may have been a bit long i agree but i had to make this tutorial and here i am as you can see the details are even visible up to this end see now they are pixelating so now you know the power of udims okay they are a bit performance intensive like just a bit but not something super disturbing you can use them here and there i'll recommend using them for you know big objects like uh the consulate in my case if you guys have seen the uh, devlogs so yeah that's it guys see you in the next devlog and i'll tell you what's going on in that devlog as well and until then take care see you guys cheers